Hello everyone and welcome to the day 4 of Form Guru series. In the last episode, we took a look at email address and phone number fields in Make Forms. Today we are going to take a look at date picker and time picker fields at Make Forms. So let's start by creating a new form. We'll be creating a standard form, date picker and time picker. As always, I'll just delete this header element. So here you can see that we have the date picker field. I'll just click this and it will load here. If we see from the top, the first element as usual is whether you want this to be a required field or not. You can just turn this on and off. The second one is the field alignment. Over here, we do not have the placeholder element because of course you we have DDMMYY. So there is no way to have the, the placeholder type of field name alignment. Uh, this still remains the same enter the date. This will be a tooltip. And then if you click here, it, this will be down there. Uh, one thing that we have additional here, which is the date format. So you can have this as DDMMYY, MMDDYY, and YYYY and MMDD. Then you can also select the separators over here then uh, you can uh, mark this field as disabled field and then uh, if you want to mark this as a disabled field and want to select a default value you will select it from here so let's say if i want this to be a default value i can just select it and when you see in the design tab this will be populated okay uh, now i'll just turn off the disabled field and i will also uh, remove the default value another thing that you can actually do is you can uh, pre-select this particular field value from the current date so to do that you will just turn this on and you can see that the current date will be populated one another option that we have is that we can restrict our user to select the date only between a particular date range so let's say I want them to select only between 1st of January and the 31st of Jan. I can just uh, do that. Now we will just go ahead and publish this particular field. Sorry, we'll publish this particular form. And we'll just try to see the results. I'll just try to enter 2025. Uh, the month is 12 and 01 and I'll try to submit here it says that the time uh, a date should be between these so now we will go back and we will see the further options you can have this as a repeat field as I am been mentioning we'll look at the repeater and the marker sensitive data both of these fields mm, settings much more in detail later Again, you can mark this as a hidden field if you want to send this particular data using query parameter. So now you can see here that uh, with the date field, if you want to send the data, uh, data as a query parameter, then you must always send it as DDMMYY. And they have also given us the option here that says in which particular format will you be sending this particular uh, data as a query parameter so no matter what date format you use if you want to retrieve this data using a query parameter you always have to send it in the ddmmyy format so now this is all that we have uh, with respect to the date picker the second one is the time picker over here now we will see that certain settings have changed Again, you can mark this field as required field. Uh, then this is the field alignment. Uh, again, these are the helper text. Uh, one thing that changes here is the time format. So you can set this as a 24 hour or as a, or as a 12 hour uh, format. Uh, then again, you can mark this as a disabled field and then set up the default value here. Uh, again, you, uh, you can just like you did select uh, using the current date you can allow your users uh, you not not your users but uh, you can uh, set this as a uh, pre-selected using current time 
so if you see in the design tab uh, it picks up the current time uh, from the system then uh, the next thing that you can actually do is that you can just like we did select uh, the date range we can also select the time range so in this case i would do let's say uh, from 12 am midnight uh, to to 4 pm so i cannot go uh, beyond on this time range then again uh, the hidden fields the default field and if you want to fill from query parameter uh, then you must send it in the 24 hours rr and minute minute format i'll just quickly republish this we'll take a look at the form um, i'll hard refresh this and we can see that the time has been picked up so that's it about the date picker and the time picker field in the next uh, episode we'll take a look at input field number field and uh, the text area field